Hi everyone, my name's Claire and I make videos on becoming a new mum. Uh, today is Samuel's six week appointment with the doctor. Um, this also includes my postpartum checkup to make sure everything's healing okay and to give me the all clear. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I think everything should go fine. Samuel seems fine. I'm feeling good. So I will take you along on the journey and let you know how it goes. Hello, so I'm just back from the doctors and I wanted to show you what I've come back with. I completely conked out sleeping baby. And if you're wondering what that muslin's doing tucked in, it's because he was sick down at the doctors and I didn't want to risk him being sick all down me on the way back up. It was only a five minute walk, so it wasn't bad at all. But uh, yeah, isn't that just the most adorable thing you've ever seen? Very, very, very cute. I am now home and I am, I've just put Samuel down and I'm just watching him in his little monitor and he's sleeping away for now and um, we'll see how long that lasts so he might join us shortly but um, yeah so I'm home and uh, I'm going to tell you about his six week appointment so this is kind of, I think it's a mandatory appointment for all babies born in the UK on the NHS they um, ask you to make this appointment for yourself and for your baby so uh, we went down this morning and sorry I am watching the monitor because he's wriggling about which means he's probably going to wake up soon um, but I'll try and persevere for as long as possible I made myself a cup of tea and uh, hopefully I can enjoy it while he sleeps for five minutes hopefully so um, started off with myself because Samuel was relaxed and he was calm uh, she started off with um, questions about me so questions about how my mental health was and um, questions about how I felt my body was doing um, you know after six weeks uh, she gave me advice on how that was going as well so I'm feeling pretty good um, obviously I had an episiotomy I went into more detail on that during my birth video but I had an episiotomy which has healed I got stitches um, dissolvable stitches and as far as I'm aware they've all healed um, she said after another six weeks I'll feel completely back to normal hopefully um, and she said it just continually gets better um, for me everything seems to um, be fine my tummy is um, wobblier than it used to be so today I got the all clear to go ahead and, and start exercising if I want to and she gave me some um, recommendations for that so she said you know don't just start doing sit-ups and um, they're not actually the best things for it actually doing crunches or doing uh, planks things like that are much better for your tummy muscles to make sure they come back together now I don't think during pregnancy mine separated terribly um so i've not got that problem to contend with but um i do have a, a little bit of jiggle there that wasn't there before that i would like to do something about it's personal preference at the end of the day so um I, i've got the all clear to go ahead and do that uh, what else was she saying i mean not so much about myself because i think i'm uh coping quite well as a first time mum and i uh, i have support from my partner um I'm, I'm, I think she wasn't too concerned about myself. Oh, uh, she also asked about contraceptive. So I have chose to go on to the mini pill, which is safe for breastfeeding. Um, I said that the, there's another type of pill um, that used to not be recommended for breastfeeding, but now they're saying if it's after six weeks of breastfeeding, then yeah, you can use it. But I didn't want to risk any kind of drop in my milk supply because I'm a first time mom, because I'm still getting to grips with the whole breastfeeding journey, um, I didn't want to risk anything on that. So I decided to go for, I, I had done research prior to going along. So I have decided to um, go onto the mini pill, which is one you take constantly. Um, you don't have a break in it or anything like that, which previous pills I've been on, you did take a break. Um, you took for 21 days, stopped for seven. So that uh, I'll start taking that today, um, which is good. Also, because I'm breastfeeding, I haven't got my period yet. And also the pill that I'm going on to can stop you getting your period as well. So hopefully, um, you know, all going well, I don't I don't have to contend with getting my period as well as um, being postpartum. 
So yeah, all positive for me. And then we went on to speak about Samuel. When we arrived in the doctors, Samuel was totally sound asleep. I'd carried him down on my sling, but I'd also taken his buggy with us as well because I wasn't sure whether you know how it would go in the doctors whether I needed to lie in flat whether she needed to look at me in any way so I decided to cover both options and take wear him in the sling because that usually knocks him out and uh, take the buggy with me in case I needed to lay him down flat or, or put him down for any reason so um he was totally out of it um when we arrived down but she needed to actually um examine him so I had to take him out of his um, big bear onesie, uh, big fluffy thing um, that he wears that's super super cute um, but I had to take him out of that, uh, lay him down in the bed, um, you know strip him right down so that she could examine him properly. So she does the kind of similar exams that they do initially when he's first born. So in the hospital we got um, exams done within the first I think it was 12 hours of um, when he was born. They do these tests just to make sure he's he's okay. He's, they don't notice anything initially um, with him, which they didn't. Uh, although I think she said they had a mild clicky hip in the hospital. Although um, the doctor today checked for that and didn't show any signs of having a clicky hip. So that's ideal. If he did have a clicky hip, they would refer him for an ultrasound on his hips I think that's what she said but because um because he's told he, she didn't see anything um or she didn't feel anything sorry uh we don't need to worry about that um what other checks did she do um yeah she she checked his legs his hips um his eyes she checked uh, yeah all that kind of usual stuff and everything was completely fine he did throw up all over the bed that he was sitting on which was just lovely because prior to going I had fed him in the hope that he would be calm and nice and happy and chilled out um, and yeah he just brought it all back up so that was that was great fun <laughs> to clean all that up while she's trying to examine him um, but yeah it was fine she's totally used to all this kind of stuff um, which is which is good you know she she took it took it well him throwing up all over the place but yeah um, that's us now. We don't need to worry about any other appointments. We don't need to, um, I don't need to book him in for anything else. That's him, unless anything crops up. Oh, uh, I have been recommended to get him uh, vitamin drops because he's a winter baby and also a Scottish baby. Um, they recommend, they, they say that uh, most of the population has actually got a vitamin D deficiency. So um, they recommend giving them vitamin drops. So I picked them up from the pharmacy. I haven't yet started giving them to them, giving him them yet. <laughs> um, but I will do that today. I also picked up his baby paracetamol because um, he'll be going for his eight week immunizations um, shortly. So I've got that because one of the injections that he gets at that um, can make his temperature spike. So they recommend giving paracetamol or baby paracetamol before you go down and then also um, afterwards as well. But I'll go into more of that um, when I'm talking about immunizations and when I take them down for them and all that kind of jazz. Um, so yeah, it was a, a wee eventful morning out. It's so strange because during COVID you just don't go out anywhere and it was actually really nice heading out you know with a purpose not just out for a walk um and actually interacting with somebody it was just a uh, really unusual <laughs> in these times these strange strange times um but yeah so thank you very much for watching and i shall speak to you in my next video bye